Good morning, I'm John Jorphy with All About Chippewa Valley, and it's my pleasure to be at this uh, Ali Phillips Senior Center in downtown Eau Claire, meeting with uh, Jackie Miner, who is the ex executive director here. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thanks for taking the time to meet with me and highlight the wonderful aspects of this facility and uh, what, it, what it does for the community. Uh, was wondering if you could, you know, summarize kind of what the mission and purpose of the Senior Center is here. Of course. Um, we serve the 50 plus population in Eau Claire and the surrounding area. Uh, we're trying to keep them as healthy and independent as we can. And by healthy, I mean, of course, physically, but also in body and in spirit. Oh, nice. Nice. Those are great goals to have. And as, as we get older, we, we definitely need to keep, keep everything going yes. and keeping it busy. Um, another question for you is, is um, what would you say are the most common reasons why uh, these seniors join the center? Well, I think there's a variety of reasons. I mean, you might have a individual who's newly retired and trying mm -hmm. to figure out retirement and what that looks like and has a lot of open time where they're like, okay, now I can do, go play cards or work out more or something like that. Um, we have the um, older adult or really any age that maybe have recently lost a spouse and are feeling very lonely or isolated and mm -hmm. looking for something to do. Okay. Um, and then we have people that just come here because they want to learn a card game or um, they want to, they see our hiking group or a different activity in our newsletter and say, that's something I'm really interested in. Mm -hmm. I want to be a part of that. Sure. Uh, you mentioned hiking. What, uh, what are, uh, you know, some of the events and activities that you guys offer? Oh goodness. We do offer a variety of activities. We have a newsletter that comes out every other month highlighting those activities. Um, some of them occur every week. Uh, you can play cribbage here every Wednesday afternoon um, or different card games like that. It's happening all the time. And then we do a lot of special events as well. We have a Halloween dance coming up. So that would be an example of a special event. Uh, we have fitness classes, I think 15, 20 um, a week, mm, wow. all different levels. Um, some the very basic where you're in a chair or near a chair for balance all the way up to um, pretty intense cardio classes. Um, and then we have um, just like non-activities, I guess is the best way to put it, where people come here and just have coffee and interact and mm -hmm. um, get to know each other and get emotional support that way as well. Yeah, well that social aspect of, of being human and and as life evolves in the, in the circle of life, yeah, you know, it sounds like this is a, a place that people can come and and uh, feel comfortable meeting other people here. Absolutely. Which is, which is outstanding. I, you know, it's got a great reputation. Um, uh, what type of educational resources do you guys have? Well, one of the things that we do here is we partner with UW-Eau Claire and they have service learning projects that their university students need to compete, complete. Uh -huh. um, and so we are one of the sites um, and they offer technology assistance. So our seniors can sign up for a time and if they're having a problem with learning how to use a computer or a cell phone or something like that, they can meet one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, wow. Um, we're currently offering um, German and Spanish and French. Um, we just finished or in the process of finishing ukulele lessons. So really a wide variety of opportunities to learn a new skill or to be educated in an area. Mm -hmm. Wow, those, I would never have guessed that. <laughs> and those are very stimulating to the mind and intellect. Yes, you know, for I, sure. I uh, am going to Poland and looking forward to being immersed in different culture yes. uh, in a couple of weeks here. Um, so, so other than the university, do you have other affiliations or collaborations? Well, um, the center is a little bit different than a lot of senior centers that people might be familiar with. Um, we are a 501c3 uh, nonprofit organization, and that's a little bit different. Most senior centers come under the city or the county umbrella, and we do not. 
But when you talk about partnerships, both of those places are incredibly important to us. Mm -hmm. They continue to give us funding each year as a way to keep our membership fees low and make sure that we are available to all of Eau Claire County. Um, if someone could not afford a membership, we do what we need to do to make sure that um, the financial inability is not their stumbling block. We right. make sure that they get a membership here. Wow. Well, that's that's great. So there's really nobody's nobody's pushed out. Right. Good, right. Good for you guys. Yep. And then we also do um, programming with ADRC. Um, they oh. offer two meals a month here that our members or whomever outside community can sign up for. We also do like brain health programs or Medicare programs for so our members talking about education again. Mm -hmm. Our Medicare um, eligible members can learn sure. more about it. Um, you know, in this day and age, um, partnerships are incredibly important. Yeah. Well, congratulations with all. Can someone come here and get a tour of this facility? Absolutely. Uh, we, I'm the only full time currently staff person. Um, and then we have a number of part-time staff people, but we rely heavily on volunteers and we're so grateful for our volunteers um, uh, who are almost always members of the center. Sure. So we have them in a position we call a greeter. They're the first contact when somebody comes through the door and they love to give tours and give a great job. I mean, what better person to sell your organization <laughs> than people that are currently involved in love being here? So yeah. it's been a great great fit for us. Yeah. Well, thanks for all this information. Yes. If uh, I, hopefully people are watching this and, and uh, you know, come down here, ask for a tour and, and engage themselves in a great opportunity to become more involved with the community and people that are part of this group. So absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks. Absolutely. Thanks, thanks for your time. For asking us. Yeah, you bet. Thank all you right. very much.